collective haul. These are my most requested videos ever, so I'm just gonna show you guys a bunch of stuff that I've been buying for maybe like a month, a month and a half-ish. If you guys like hauls, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so I know you guys like them and you guys wanna see more and you wanna stick around with me watching more hauls and what I buy at the mall, spend my stupid money on. <gasps> Okay, wait, the money's not stupid. How I spend it is a little stupid. Could be, could be quite, it's questionable. <laughs> I have a lot of different random things from like shoes to candles to food items. Let's just jump into this haul video. Okay, I'm gonna start with Victoria's Secret. When these things released from Victoria's Secret, I had, my DMs were going insane. But whenever you guys see like cutesy things, you always let me know about it, which I appreciate you guys so much. So I went there and literally got everything like look at how adorable these are the packaging is so cute so i got four of them plus a lotion this first one here is in candy baby and the packaging of this one is my favorite out of them all this is so beautiful they had a deal of buy three for 36 um and then there was two for I forget. Basically, they were discounted, but isn't this packaging together just the cutest ever? It says sugar swirl, mango explosion, and glazed over. Mm -hmm. No, oh my god. It does smell like super sugary mango. Oh my god, it's so good. And the lotion obviously just smells the exact same. My next favorite is this one. It's in cake confetti, and there's confetti all there with sparkles in there. This packaging is amazing. So this one says vanilla cream, marshmallow sprinkles, slice of heaven. I'm just gonna spray all these. I feel like the lids are very, very secure. I don't know if that's to keep like, I'm pulling really hard. Oh my god. It literally smells like when you open a marshmallow bag and that pure sugar with vanilla, that's what this smells like. Okay, now this one was really yummy. I think I'm gonna get the most compliments on here. The packaging is tie-dye. And this one says raspberry punch, citrus buzz, ultimate addiction. Ah, raspberry. I don't know if I smell raspberry. Ooh, they all smell like super sugary and girly. And then the last one I got is sugar high. And this one is nectar pop rock candy, the sweet life. And I've been recently decluttering all my sprays. Like I gave away almost all my sprays. I have like three. So I thought, yes, I could do this and put these as the main attraction. Oh my God. This is the best smelling one. Like for sure. I just smell pure raw candy. Okay, then I went to Spencer's and <laughs> I got dick pasta. <laughs> it's weenie linguini. So they're shaped as penises. And I don't know, I'm just... I just wanted to have some weenie linguine. $12.99 and I'm probably gonna make this on the vlog channel and I'll probably snap it as well. So I don't know, that's just, that's me. Bye. I got some goodies at Sephora. I got a replacement of my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and this one I got in, I want to try the medium brown because I've been like going back between like soft brown and dark brown, soft brown and dark brown. And so I just was like, why don't we just go in the mi middle and do medium brown? So I'm gonna try that one out. I want to try this gloss from the Sephora collection. It's in baby doll it's a gel gloss i have another one of these glosses and it's a mint one and i wear it all the time super glossy and i just i think it's the gel formula i really like so i wanted to pick up a pink one and this one here really vibes with my nails it just looks like this and it smells like cake like those sprays i just showed you and i got some on my septum ring love that and then i wanted to try this all over diamond veil a lot of companies with makeup have been coming out with like all over body things like shimmers and makeup and you know just like highlights all over and this was how many carrots how many Bugs Bunny is shaking, how many carrots? This was like beautiful, beautiful packaging. How many carrots? And it just shines, like it's like glistening. Look at, oh my God. And this will just like go all over my body. I'm just gonna like douse my body in this, honestly. On my titties, on my shoulders, on my legs, on my vagina, like we're just gonna go all out with that. I wanna show you the cutest freaking thing ever. I put this on the vlog channel, just like this. I didn't say what it was, I just said it was really cute. And I say everything is cute, like penis linguine is cute to me. But this was like one of the cutest things that I own. Top favorite items I own in my wardrobe and I hope that this place sticks around for a bit because I am going to be a really loyal customer of them. I love like Japanese kawaii fashion. I love journaling that way. I love my nails that way. I just love looking at it. Like so unique and she said they're all unique and custom made. One of a kind handmade like everything is handmade. They are a little pricier but it's because they're like handmade. Like if you take into consideration like it's a handmade one of a kind unique item and it's so 
different. That's what unique means, Samantha. Good job on your vocabulary. To me, it's so worth it. I got this for free uh, because I spent so much. Um, it was originally $18 and it has like little like fake Chanel there and there. I feel like this is really like Gabby DiMartino. I don't know how I'm gonna rock this. I hope I can find a way. Um, it's like vintage-y. So I mean, get, to get that for free. Oh, the place is called Emily's Wardrobe. This might not be a lot of your guys' style. So just like warning, this isn't just like a plain thing. So this is like a unicorn threw up on a Fruity Pebbles box, okay? This is the show. Oh my god, like, I can't even look at it. A tunic? It's like a shirt dress. So it says love and there is Daisy Duck right there and it's just so cute. Like there were so many different ones of this. It was very me. $89. I can't. Okay, so I also went to the candy store which was kind and fancy and I got some Scooby-Doo cotton candy and it's strawberry and blue raspberry cotton candy. Okay, let's do our den because I got some banging goodies at our den. So I put in the vlog um, of me and my bestie at our den like looking around and I said a haul will be coming so here is that haul I also went to our den for a second time and I just got one thing so I'll just show you that I got these over the knee socks I don't know I've just been loving this like cutesy vibe lately six dollars and ninety cents then when I went crazy I don't know why our den just had like such unique things so I got this hat which I've already worn because the makeup is in there love that for me this was like five bucks or something and it's like tattered here i wore this um on a look on instagram in a vlog too i wore it on my bbl complications video so if you guys want to know where that was from it was from our den i got four surprise bags these were two for five dollars and i'm gonna do like an opening on my vlog channel i thought it would just be kind of cute to do that so if you guys want to go subscribe to my vlog channel and see what are in these surprise bags i'm probably not gonna post that vlog for maybe like a week ish but it will be coming okay they had like a journaling section and art and I'm like what so I got two of these letter stickers because these are kind of expensive like if I go into Michael multiple sheets it looks like in here and there was only two dollars and ninety cents and these ones are like animal print and this one is like faded pastel did I say faded pa like ombre pastel ombre oh my god I'm so cringe and then I saw this my laptop is so ancient and I won't get a new one mine is so old and ancient that I'm just gonna make it look cute and new and girly and fun I'll also put this on my vlog channel too like of me doing that I do lots of different things things like that. This was $6.90. They're literally stickers for your keyboard. Super tacky. Welcome to my life. Okay, then I saw this purse and I loved it. It is just this little dainty purse. It literally looks like Versace or something like that. It looks super high end and it was only $29.90. And I'm pretty sure this was on sale too. Removable crossbody strap. Oh, nice. Okay, so there's a crossbody too, or you can hold it like this. The color of this is so cute. And it came with this little watermelon chain. I'm probably gonna put some more like over the top stuff on here, but this was adorable. And there was only two left at the location I went into and it's just perfect. Oh my God, I can't wait to take pictures with this. <laughs> I told you our den was banging. I got this necklace. Oh my god, I can't believe these are now like coming back. This was my teenage years. Like everyone wore these. Everyone wore these. They were like surfer people or something. <laughs> not a surfer calm down i want to wear this which is like even a cute little like simple white t-shirt i think would look adorable that was like six dollars i got this vintage lip gloss like this was also when i was like a child like young young and this is a fruit shine strawberry right there and this was four dollars and ninety cents that's kind of, to me that's expensive for this like four dollars and ninety cents like but I bought it anyway. I love complaining about shit that I buy. And then I got three clothing items. I just got like basic stuff. So this here was, this literally says Arden basic. Look, cause I'm basic. Oh, this would look cute with that necklace. I didn't even think of that. That would look so cute with that net one, that white hat. Don't even play me. And the white over the knee, cute socks. Like, bye. <laughs> This was only $5.80. It does look a little see-through, but I mean, like Pink Sparkles always says, you can Google a tit. Mine isn't a special tit, so it's fine. And then I got these biker shorts. These are also the basic for $5.80, and but they have lace on them. I don't have anything like that. Backstreet Boys crop top? Like what? Everything is like coming back. I feel like I'm like 100 years old. This was 1990, and I know I didn't pay that because there, I think it was this in the purse were on a rack for like, Something for something. Let me see if I can get them all right. Nick, AJ, Howie, Brian. Wait, that's Howie. That's Kevin. Oh, look at me go. You thought Howie was Kevin. No, you didn't. <laughs> I got something at Close Encounter. This was in Moose Jaw. I vlogged this. I'll put that vlog in the description box. Um, but yeah, I got this little championship. Championship? <laughs> what? What are they? 
champion cropped tank top. This was $44.95. Who would pay $45 for a shirt? I literally showed like $5 shirts, $5 shirts. This is a $10 shirt. And then I'm like $45. Like I need a reality check. Speaking of expensive shit, I went to Lululemon. <laughs> Ooh, look at the background. It's like, it's not even there. If I was just holding this up, you would just think I was holding my hand out, right? <laughs> So I went to Lululemon because my favorite thing of all time, I'm so dramatic, is Starbucks, are my Lululemon leggings. They are black, they are the, what kind are they? They are the Align. They are the best ever. Like I love them, they're high-waisted. They don't even feel like you're wearing leggings. So I wanted a different color of them. So basically that's called turquoise or are these gray? <gasps> Ooh, I don't even know. To me, they look in the store, they were like gray, but now when I'm looking at them, they are like a light tur turquoise. They're the exact same ones that I have of the black ones, high-waisted. Um, Lululemon is kind of expensive, but they are so worth it. These were $98. I got a size 2 and I got the 25 inch ones. That's just the height of them. I know there's 28 inches, but I'm so small um, that these ones are like full size leggings on me. I really like this color. Like I don't even want to wear these because I feel like I'm going to ruin them. That's like me with every pair of Lululemon. <laughs> Okay, then I went to Foot Locker. I don't even know if I should show these because I bought these for something. So I'm gonna be showing you guys what I'm gonna be doing with these, but I might wear them a bit beforehand. Like, look at the size of my feet. Can we just all take a minute and see that I'm in two youth preschool? These are literally like baby shoes. I usually get GS, which is grade school, which is like kids shoes. We are now in the baby section with shoes. I don't even know what my life is. I wanted some like basic, I don't even know what these are called. Every sneakerhead is shaking. Nike Air Force Ones. Nike Force Ones. These were $68. And if I would have bought these in the women's section or men's section, I'm pretty sure these are like $100. So the fact that I can fit into kids shoes, I mean, it's not just like just me. You guys try to go up to like big kid sizes. That's why that's why I hack for you guys, okay? Even if your feet aren't like tiny tiny. I did this hack for my bestie Alexis. She wanted some Air Force Ones high tops and I was like, try kids. And she's like, kids aren't gonna fit me. Like she's like, kids aren't gonna fit me. I'm like, try the big kid sizes. And she did and she saved like so much money because they are cheaper. So you never know. Okay, I went to Dutch Growers and I just got this. Actually, I got like food items and such, but I've already since ate them. Gorgeous big clip and this was $24. Really like this clip. It's so fancy. I got that at Dutch Growers and Dutch Growers has like mink pink and all these like gorgeous brands, but they're so expensive. So I just got that. And then my mom and I went to Plato's Closet after Dutch Growers and I found a mink pink shirt that was like brand new. And I'm like, okay, this is, this is me. This is super cute. This is very like 70s, 60s vibe. The price of it was $12. That's way better than like almost $100 for a shirt. All right, so the very last place in this haul is going to be Bath and Body Works. The first thing I want to show you guys is the wallflower. So many of you probably are like, yeah, we know, we're like everyone has a wallflower. I have never had a wallflower before and it has changed my life, girl. So I got this one here. This is very beautiful. This scent right here, it doesn't say on it. I don't know. I got like really fresh and clean scents. I don't remember what that one is. But this just plugs into your wall and it's a light also. And then the, the scent like kind of diffuses out and it smells so good. I feel like I need one of these for every room in my house, honestly. I think this was like $15 and then the scents were, I don't know, like don't even, don't ask me. Five for 25, four for 12.50? They were five for 25, okay. So I got five of these scents. I don't remember what that one was, but I got At The Beach, Turquoise Waters, Gingham, and Rose Water, and Ivy. Ooh. Then I got a body wash, and this was Sugared Cranberry Cider. Honestly, I got this just because of the scent. I didn't even need a new one. What, why are we playing? Oh. I wanted this in a spray, but I had just bought all those sprays, and I was like, my lotions too, I've been purging those, but I will use a body wash. I mean, mm, it smells so freaking good. Oh my God, he is so cute. He is $9.50. Oh my God, he does not want to leave his package. Honestly, be born into the world. Come on, be born. Ah! This is for your car and you can put little refresher, what is it called, what is it called? sense in there and you can clip this onto anywhere you want in your car you don't have it in your car you can have it even in your locker i wouldn't have got him if he wasn't so cute and i got four cents to go along with that these ones were probably the four for 12.50 so i got stress relief because i was going through some stress this was eucalyptus and spearmint this one is champagne toast um black cherry merlot is hands down bath and body works best scent don't even at me and then cucumber melon okay i got four candles 
Um, the first one here is in Cactus Blossom. Love the simplicity of that. Oh my god, this smells like Mm, this smells like a classy perfume. This next one is in coconut macaron. I never know how to say that word. I'm so sorry. But um, I'm not a fan of like coconut texture, but I like like coconut milk, coconut scents, stuff like that. And this smells like coconut milk. Oh my God. Oh, I can smell like the pastry in it too, if that makes sense. This one here is in warm apple pie. We're getting into more like fall scents. Mm -hmm. This doesn't smell how you would smell like a fake apple pie smell. This is like real apple pie like if you actually walked into your grandma's house and she was baking at you know what everyone always says grandma's apple pie what about grandpa what about grandpa so this smells like grandpa's apple pie because we love the daddy <laughs> and then the very last candle i got is in paris cafe and this one is so interesting it's like coffee beans right away but i can also smell like like a latte and like a slight blueberry almost i don't know <laughs> The color though is not it sis. This literally looks like a 1980s couch or some baby poop or something. Ooh. The very last thing in this haul and from Bath and Body Works is this little scent right here. When I was paying for everything, my mom brought this to me and said, look at this. It's a unicorn on a rocket ship. <laughs> That's probably why she brought it to me. Bubble gum burst, hand soap, hand, hand, san hand sanitizer. And it was pink and cute and I love their hand sanitizer. Ooh, okay. Oh, I don't really like that. Oh well, at least we're sanitized. So that was everything in my big, huge collective haul. If you guys like this, a thumbs up would be appreciative for me. I would love that for you. I hope you guys enjoyed and have a great rest of your day. And I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.